three. Vehicle is pitching down range. All right, 30 seconds into flight, the, the rumbles are still building Who's here in the Raptor's nest. Down. We're seeing 32 out of 33 signal. engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Coming up shortly is going to be max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure as we go uphill on the vehicle. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back burn start up. Acquisition of Houston. Houston. Hot stage confirmed, ship under its own power, booster boosting back. Looks like all 13 are lit. Kate, we got a booster on the way back to the Gulf and a ship on the way to space. Boost back burn shut down. Heard confirmation there of good boost back burn shut down. H2 tank pressures are normal. Lots of excitement, so right here, this is <laughs> this is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. This is a great view on your left hand side is a view is three views from the booster and your right hand side a view from the ship. And you can see those grid fins on your left hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster and there's that landing burn. That landing burn just begun and you can see the water below. Yeah, as you can see with that view on your screen again, high def brought to us by Starlink. We can see the plasma beginning to build as the ship is getting closer to the Earth's atmosphere. Now, how, how let's talk a little bit about how Star will survive reentry, hopefully, and control itself. Exactly. We've been talking about this this entire flight test. There's 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles surrounding the bottom portion or the Earth facing Starship side of the ship. Through 100 kilometers altitude. Good attitude for entry. Great call outs there. Now, during atmospheric re entry, the vehicle is going to see temperatures as high as 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit or over 1,400 degrees Celsius. So, those tiles are there to help protect the vehicle from this extreme heat. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again. This camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. That, ooh, looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> this is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens just cracked. <laughs> It's safe to say ship's getting a little beat up, but that's to be expected on a test flight. We are still learning 
how to improve the ship for total survival and recovery of the high heat reentry. I'm honestly impressed that we're still getting this live view despite how much debris is coming off of this flap right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we've got it is good news. We wish we could see more, but we'll take it. <laughs> the starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal velocity. Landing beam startup to starship. All right, good news there. Nominal to look at Landing beam startup. Starship is in landing boom. Landing boom, Shepard. The, the landing bird shutdown was commanded.